Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today as you can see I'm spreading celery. That seems to be all I'm doing at this moment or for this last while, but yeah, I'm spreading celery. So I think I'm just gonna call this welcome to my office part 10 or whatever it is. So yeah, it's been a while since I put up the last video, I've just been busy the last couple of weekends and I just haven't got around to doing it, but I'm just doing this to tidy over because tomorrow I'm supposed to be using my brand new tanker, the dribble bar tanker for the first time. So my intention is to get a couple of little videos on it with the, well it's not a GoPro I have, it's like a cheaper version, but how and ever, but um, with that, and it'll probably be, I'm away this weekend again, so it'll be Monday or Tuesday before I get that up. So this is just a video to tidy over and then, and just give you a bit of update on that, on what's going on, so. As I was saying, we've been spreading slurry pretty much non-stop. We haven't missed a week since January. Every week we've been spreading the slurry out since, since January. It's look at it's it's an awful bad year, bad year for everyone. A lot of people seem to be stuck in that. Now we're okay for silage. We've actually sold silage. We have all the cattle out, bar the lock of um, finishing cattle that's still in the sheds and the lock of cows we have at the minute. At the minute we have 200 and I think it's 250 or 60 calves on the feeders, on the two feeders at the minute and we have 35 of me that have already been reared so far this year. So ah, we're getting on fine calves, the calves are doing very well now, we're very happy with the new shed. It was extremely well made for, for the colder weather. Not so much for the hotter weather, we, we think we're going to have to take down a lot of sheets and that just to try and get more v ventilation into it to try and keep it cool for the cows, but we're getting on very well now, very well this year. And we've had all the cattle out since, I think all the cattle have been out two weeks at this stage. We did have, we did get cattle out before March um, and we have grass and all that, so like we're, we're not doing too bad. We still have no sowing done, we have nothing done, like we have 200 acres of tillage there that we still have to sow. We're not going to be doing any plowing. We're literally, we're just going to be harrowing and then shaking them. We're not even going to sow it properly. We're going to shake it with the fertilizer spreader and harrow it again. That's what, that's the plan to try and get it in as quick as we can, get done and get out of the way. So that is, that is the plan with that. Um, probably end up all going for whole crop because it's gone so late and that, and just the way the weather is, whole crop is, probably the handiest solution especially with the way the weather's gone so that's where the tillage from now you might have noticed this camera or video looks a bit different and that's because I'm after creating my phone I got an iPhone 6 so that's what I'm using at the minute so it might look I think it does look different it seems very like zoomed in you know I tried zooming out however um, so yeah I did that it's it's new phone um, I had a Galaxy 6 before that oh sure um, I had two of them and the last one lasted six months before the charger just went arse was on it. So I got this one now and it seems to be going fairly well. So videos might be slightly different quality, I don't know. So hopefully now I'll get this up this evening. Um, is there anything else? I think that's really it now. Hopefully now, as I was saying, I'll get that video on my new tanker up by um, Monday or Tuesday next week. All going well. Um, that's all I can really think of at the moment, as, as I was saying we've been spreading a lot of slurry in the tractor. You can see uh, windows are dark now because we're splashing at the minute and we always end up, especially with the wind, the woeful wind yesterday, and it ends up just blowing it all back on top of me. And it just destroys the wind, it absolutely destroys the wind. We reckon we have about another week weeks work and then it should the story should start to quieten down and we should be able to get time then to get to other stuff get a lot of fencing done get cattle sorted and that we have all our silos ground grazed so we're just have to take the cattle off them and put them down the bottoms and sort them out in the batches and, and that so we're going to be taking up silos hopefully we'll have it for the end of may still hard to know what, what way it's going to work out with that because we're getting ferocious good weather at the minute and you can see the grass lepping out the ground but they're talking about it getting cold for again for next week. Well, not as cold as it was, but back down into 10, 9 degrees and still more rain. So, hard to know what's going to happen, but sure. How and ever, we have to keep motoring on anyways, you can't. As much as we like giving up and that, we can't stop. So, 
I suppose that's really all I have to talk about. Um, if you like, or um, you can add me on Snapchat there on FarmerPhil135, and I'm on Instagram and Twitter as well. I already use Twitter, and I haven't used Instagram that much actually in a long time. But you definitely get me on Snapchat. I always up pop stuff or put stuff on the name every day. Fuck I'm at. So I think that's really it for me now. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And that's it for me. Good luck.